Today, we're diving into a discussion around what it looks like to have a world where artificial intelligence meets marketing strategy. And there's a few points that we'll cover, including AI's effect on predictive analytics, automation, hyper-personalization, content marketing, and the consumer experience. But here's the thing. In each of our videos and blog posts, we've decided to take a strong opinion on a topic and share that right at the beginning. But, but why? Because as you'll learn in this video, we feel that content has gotten too boring and AI is here to change that. Which brings us to our thoughts on how AI is changing marketing. Rather than dilute the already saturated world of content marketing with more generic garbage, AI is going to raise the bar for what's considered high quality. As a result, content will get better, more personalized, and just a hell of a lot more fun. So let's launch into our first big idea, AI's impact on predictive analytics. Now say what you will about AI's ability to write poetry, but machine learning algorithms are just so much better at sifting through mountains of customer data than that guy you hired on Fiverr. AI can predict future behaviors, preferences, and even segment your audience with laser precision. Imagine an e-commerce site knowing exactly what you want to buy before you do. It's not 1984, even though it kind of sounds like 1984. It's just AI at work, crafting personalized recommendations and offers that get sent to the right people at the right time and in just the right places across your site. And if you're a marketer, how tired are you of that expression? I use it way too much. Anyway, next up, the power of automation. Now you've heard this a million times by now, but that's because it's true. AI is the ultimate assistant, taking over the grunt work so marketers can focus on the parts of their campaigns that require human creativity. Things like data entry, reporting, or just finding the perfect email response to your boss isn't something that excites most marketers. I'm so bored. But by offloading many of those tasks to AI, you basically give yourself a reliable assistant that gets better over time. Okay, let's talk personalization. In fact, we'll talk about hyper-personalization and how to become hyper-personalized for your audience. AI is all about delivering tailored experiences to customers. Someone clicks here, then they make a few purchases there, and suddenly the homepage is transformed into a personal shopping mall for each customer. Now, at Copy AI, we recently built a workflow just for our ABM efforts. And for those of you without your huge dictionary of marketing acronyms, that means account-based marketing. Our team could take LinkedIn URLs from employees at specific companies and generate personalized landing pages at scale. So in my case, I might get an email that takes me to a landing page that would say something like, hey, Nathan at Copy AI, don't you get tired of, you know, whatever my pain points actually are? Why don't you choose one of these workflows to help you out? And the workflow suggestions on the page would be tailored to that person's specific role. This allowed us to personalize and scale our ABM efforts unlike ever before. Plus, it's just one of the many ways in which marketing is benefiting from higher levels of personalization. I can give you like 20 more right now, but I think I'd be accused of shamelessly advertising our workflows. Shamelessly plug yourself. So I'll move on. All right, now for the holy grail of AI discussion with marketers, content. AI is enhancing creativity everywhere you look. It's repurposing variations of content for a broader reach and optimizing performance with an analytical eye that most humans just don't have. Any marketer can now build campaigns that aren't just good, but truly extraordinary. And it's all thanks to the insights and efficiency AI has brought to the table this year. Personally, I love that I don't have to slave over blog posts the same way that I used to. Now, don't get me wrong, I love writing, but I don't always love writing keyword-driven BOFU content nine hours a day, every day. That gets old. It gets old for me and it gets old for the reader. Now, I get to do the type of writing I like. Script writing and working on videos that require more human creativity if I want to do them well verdict's not totally out on if that's happening, so comments are appreciated, but that's the goal. And from those scripts or webinar and interview transcripts, I can create a strong first draft of an SEO-friendly blog post much more quickly than if I did it by hand. So with a Copy AI workflow, I can even create the corresponding social posts, landing page copy, video notes, and distribution emails at the same time, so everything is ready at once. And since I'm using a transcript from real human perspectives, like the video you're watching now, the written content that comes out on the other end is richer in both opinions and genuine advice, at least richer than most of what you'll find on the SERPs right now on this topic. Oh, and if we want to create a piece of content to someone in German, French, Swedish, or Latin for like any of the three people who still read that, any language we want, AI provides a quick, easy, and affordable translator. But now I'm getting greedy. All I'm talking about is how AI is benefiting me as a marketer and content creator. What about the people I'm trying to market to? How is AI changing the consumer experience for them? I've already said this, but I'll say it again. 
Over the past decade, we've been inundated with boring, formulaic, and repetitive content. That's been true long before the arrival of Gen AI. So when some marketers worry that AI-driven content is going to flood the internet with more boring, formulaic, and repetitive content, it's hard for me to take that too seriously. Because if you look at the SERPs right now, the top three to five results are usually the exact same post, just differently worded. If anything, we'll have a million other posts that are just buried on page two, but you'll never have to interact with them. As marketers start to use AI, though, in new and creative ways, like repurposing transcripts or brainstorming better and more interesting ideas for content, or even creating cooler graphics that they simply couldn't afford before, I think the world of content marketing is going to get a lot more fun for consumers. Even when someone gets a message in their inbox, it'll be more personalized message, and it'll be seen less as spam when it's sent at the right times and to the right people who actually want the offer, which, in theory, AI is going to make harder for marketers to mess up, like so many email marketers do right now, except ours. Ours is awesome. Here's the bottom line. AI isn't just changing marketing. It's setting a new standard for everyone. What was once considered advanced marketing is now freshman year 101. Consumers will come to expect higher quality content and businesses will need to compete with leaner teams. Thanks to AI, that's more achievable now than ever. So we're really looking at a future where customer experiences don't just have the potential to be better, to actually be the best they've ever been. Personalized, engaging, and downright impressive. So to quote Rob Mosley, our head of growth here at Copy AI, the only question left is how creative can you get? Thanks for watching, and remember, every time you hit that like button, a puppy gets its wings. Oh, you think you're so great, don't you, Superdog? See you next time.